Welcome to NextGen Flight 101. We're getting ready to push back from our gate on time and on schedule. As you settle in, our pilot is talking to air traffic control and making sure our flight plan is filed. It looks like a possible storm ahead may change our original route. With previous standard voice communication, there was only one way to receive a new route. Air traffic control would contact our pilot, advise them of the new route to avoid the weather. The pilot would then read back the long, complicated clearance. Next, the pilot would contact our airline operations center and review the same information before calling back to air traffic control again to accept the new path. If, in this lengthy process, the weather shifted, the whole process would need to start all over again. Thankfully, our flight is enabled with digital communications. Air traffic control is sending a digital message and communicating with the pilot and the airline operations center simultaneously in real time. Our pilot accepts the new flight path and loads it into the onboard computer. It's time to push back and we're going to use collaborative communication tools that will give us a smoother transition from pushback to wheels up. This means that while our aircraft is still at the gate, it has already been assigned a spot in the queue for takeoff. This new virtual queue reduces the amount of time that our flight will have to wait with our engines running, saving fuel and reducing emissions. We don't want to push back then wait in line. Instead, we get our designated pushback time and proceed directly toward departure. By improving how we time our place in line, we reduce traffic congestion on the airport surface and improve traffic flows. So we have a digital clearance to our flight plan and have gotten in line for takeoff before we have even left the gate. NextGen Flight 101 is ready to roll toward departure. We've received our digital clearance, gotten in line without even leaving the gate, and are now rolling toward the runway for an on-time departure. While we are preparing the flight for departure, air traffic control is orchestrating the movement of very large and not so nimble aircraft on small and often constricted surfaces. New surface communication tools allow air traffic and airline operations to efficiently and safely time pushbacks and departures to avoid bottlenecks and congestion on taxiways and runways. Just like highway traffic uses an on-ramp to enter the freeway, aircraft use the runway to enter the overhead stream and head toward their destinations. Flowing aircraft efficiently off the runway keeps the entire system working. Because air traffic control is sending us on a precise and predictable path, we can use an additional departure path from our runway. The buffers needed when using conventional ground-based navigation tools are eliminated and brand new on-ramps become available to us. Currently in use at Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport, this new departure method can accommodate 8 to 12 more departures per hour. An improvement in efficiency at the world's busiest airport has a positive impact on the entire national airspace system. We are wheels up and heading to our destination. Let's see what additional improvements are impacting NextGen Flight 101. This is your captain speaking and I'm happy you've chosen to fly NextGen. We are now cruising at 35,000 feet with favorable winds. While your in-flight beverage service is being provided, we are using the new air traffic control system to find the most direct path or an alternate route to avoid weather systems. Our air traffic control centers are using a new system to process more data from radar and are tracking almost twice as many aircraft. This common vision allows the air traffic controller hundreds of miles away from our destination to see the weather that is slowing down operations at our final destination. Instead of letting us proceed at full speed ahead towards a congested airspace, we are getting small adjustments to our speed to ensure we arrive after the traffic is cleared and can proceed directly to the runway. We are going to ask that you go ahead and return to your seats and fasten your seat belts as we begin our initial approach. Our aircraft is being tracked through a combination of next-gen and GPS technology. Conventional radar works by emitting and receiving radio waves. Our flight is being tracked in real time and is seeing our flight from the top down, incorporating elements like weather, terrain, and other aircraft, giving me a much more precise and predictable view of what's ahead. The captain has asked that you return to your seat. We are arriving at our destination. We will arrive today using a direct path that starts from hundreds of miles away and more than 20,000 feet. Instead of slowly approaching our destination by repeatedly descending and leveling off in a stair-step method, our new satellite arrival procedures enable our pilot to pull back the throttle and descend at near idle. 
This burns a fraction of the fuel and dramatically reduces aircraft exhaust emissions and noise. We can begin to descend higher, travel on a predictable path, and get you to your destination on time. Air traffic control has our flight sequenced to land in just a few minutes, on time and on schedule. Speed, weight, and wingspan impact the strength of the wake or turbulence an aircraft creates and its reaction to the wake of an aircraft in front of it. The longer the required distance, the fewer aircraft can take off and land. We're coming in safely behind another flight, a process made possible after the FAA determined it was safe to decrease the distance between aircraft. Newer jets leave less wake, and the FAA has recategorized the separation standards improving aircraft capacity and efficiency. In Memphis alone, these new procedures boosted capacity 20%, allowing 22 more arrivals per hour. With the tools and technology provided by the FAA, air and ground personnel can communicate collaboratively in anticipation of our arrival. If your flight lands early, you won't have to sit on the tarmac waiting for a gate. All parties are communicating in real time to ensure the efficiencies and optimization delivered by NextGen not only benefit the airspace, but enhance your traveling experience as well. We want to thank you for flying with us today on NextGen Flight 101. We know you have many choices when you fly, and we're glad you've chosen to fly with us in our modernized airspace system.